those four reds around that pink spot area are all potable. He seemed a little crestfallen when the pink went next to the black. But it's only a minor irritation. The frame pretty much in his pocket now. And this is much more like it. Six to four. This much. Six to five. You really wouldn't. The greatest player on top form out of these two, well, I'd have to say Ding, wouldn't I? But momentum, current form, belief, confidence, oh, you know, it could be Martin Gould then. Ding, you wait, six to five. Who's and ours? I think some people were expecting a concession. Ding's break ends at 65. Martin Gould, 54 behind, 43 on. Needs three snookers, and he knows from bitter experience that you can win frames in this kind of situation. Go on, Dom, tell us. <laughs> I knew you were going to say this. Well, I did play Martin Gould in the, in the final of uh, one of the first series of PTC events that were played in Brostatin, in our old qualifying school venue. And we were four all going to the deciding frame, and I hadn't played a particularly Martin good Gould. frame, and I ended up Eight. being 54 points behind the 43 left on the table. And I did actually manage to win that uh, frame and win the match and the title with it, so it can be done, of course. He doesn't want to leave a free ball. Well, I don't Bob. use the word careless very often, but that really was the pace he played I that with. Four. Free ball. And it is a free ball. Could it happen again? Forty-two the difference, effectively. Free ball. Yeah. 43 on the table. Gould just having to check whether it's a free ball. He can't quite believe his luck. So if he pots pink, black, red, black, all the colours, he wins by a single point. Obviously, the red being down in bulk, very much against him. But at least he's back in the frame with a realistic chance. Oh, he was stretching there and he didn't strike the cue ball well. He rather shoved the cue what? through there and he's come a bit straight on the black. I know a lot of players who wouldn't find it that difficult to get on this last red, even from here, but I don't know if Martin feels he can get on this red now. Well, he did his best. Wow, Ding Chun Hui would be mightily relieved, even Eight. though he may well find himself snookered again here. Yes, Gould, unable to win this in one visit, but at least he's still batting. He's still involved for a split second he was sitting in his chair thinking shall I concede but he got up laid the snooker Deng left the free ball and suddenly anything could happen Pendulum has swung more violently than Chris Gale hitting a six. Well, there you can see the equation, but if Ding doesn't hit this red, pretty much any colour will do Martin Gould. Oh, he's missed it. And now, look, it's, oh my goodness, look where the cue ball's coming again, right the way down the table where the red is. What is Ding Shen Hui doing? Foul. And he's second favourite now to win this round. 
30 points the difference, so Gould doesn't have to stay down the business end of the table for a high-value colour. Easier to get on the yellow from blue or ball colour. What an opportunity for the greatest escape in this year's championship. Phil, could you ever imagine a player like John Higgins surrendering a lead Six. like this? The way that Dean just has? Two wholly wrong shot choices from Dean. Eight. If an opponent needs three snookers, you make sure that he needs to get three snookers from you. Don't give him a free ball. If he goes on to lose this frame, how's he going to deal with it? Eleven. How much extra confidence is it going to give to Martin Gould? Oh, I'd like to play that one again. He's going to have to rebound the cue ball here off the top cushion back up for the pink, so he'll be praying that he doesn't get a fast bounce. <coughs> oh, is he going to be a few inches short here? It's not ideal. Well, if you want to get co close to the black here, he's going to have to play this with top and left-hand side, which makes the pot missable. There's pressure on this. Twenty-six. Incredible steal in the city of steel. Will Ding have the steal to recover? I can't believe I'm saying this. Martin Gould leads 8-6.